Mars is the most likely destination for a manned mission of the future. Mars has been a topic of interest for centuries, and some of the most sophisticated equipment in the world has been sent to Mars to try discovering what exactly lies beneath the surface. It is a planet full of mystery, and it has the potential to be a place where we can search for life's existence. Hey there guys, and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will discuss about what has been discovered so far on Mars. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. The Red Planet is still being explored. There is still so much to be discovered. Humans are just beginning to scratch the surface. Mars exploration has progressed to the extent that we know there is an atmosphere on Mars water existence, and signs of life. We also know that Mars has changed over time and that there also have been changes to its orbit. Number 1. Organic Carbon Mars has been found to have a significant amount of organic carbon, which is evidence of life. According to NASA, a planet with an atmosphere like Mars could have supported life, which includes microbial life, as long as there were suitable conditions. This is because it is similar to Earth. Mars had an atmosphere, a magnetic field, and liquid water. Organic carbon has been detected on Mars by the Curiosity rover. This means that life could have existed on the planet when it was younger and more volatile, but it is not necessarily there now. In addition to the organic carbon, there is also evidence that there is a significant amount of water on the red planet. Water is a key component of organic carbon, and so the discovery of organic carbon on Mars adds an essential piece to the puzzle of whether or not life has existed on Mars. Number 2. Olympus Mons Mars has volcanoes. Some of them are huge, and some of them are small. One of the biggest volcanoes discovered in the solar system is Olympus Mons, which is an enormous shield volcano located on the planet's western hemisphere. Olympus Mons is taller than Mount Everest on Earth at over 21.9 kilometers high, which is about two and a half times higher than the highest mountain on Earth, Mount Everest. The volcano's name derives from the Latin, which means Mount Olympus. The Tharsis Mons covers a large portion of Mars, and the Olympus Mons volcano is located inside that area. It is a shield volcano, meaning it has a tall, circular pit in the middle and steep rocky sides. It was formed during Mars's Hesperian period, with the eruptions continuing well into the Amazonian. The average diameter of Olympus Mons measures around 600 kilometers, and its area is over 300,000 square kilometers. These figures are comparable with the area of an average-sized European country like Poland or Italy. Number 3. Active Methane In the recent past, the presence of active methane on Mars was thought to be a myth. However, data from the Curiosity rover demonstrated on the surface of Mars for the first time the presence of active methane on Mars. The Curiosity rover found methane repeatedly above the surface of Gale Crater. Methane on the surface of Mars is a controversial topic. Some scientists say that methane is the result of the geologic activity of the Martian subsurface, while others say that it could be the result of biological activity. The presence of active methane on Mars raises questions about the possibility of life on Mars and also the possibility of life on other planets in our solar system. Since the discovery of active methane on Mars is being given more and more attention as a planet that could have once been home to life. Number 4. Valles Marineris The most impressive thing on Mars is Valles Marineris. It is a system of canyons that runs along the Martian surface of the Tharsis region. At more than 4,500 kilometers long, 600 kilometers wide, and 11 kilometers deep, Valles Marineris is one of the largest canyons on Mars. Experts say that it was formed by the spreading out and away from the volcanic Tharsis region. Valles Marineris was created by the spread of lava flows about billions of years ago. The lava flowed down into the canyons which then cut into the surrounding landscape and were turned into rift channels. Valles Marineris is the main channel through which the massive volcanic flows of the Tharsis region drain into the lowlands east of the volcanoes. Number 5. Radiation The Curiosity rover has been exploring the red planet for many years. 
Still, on its latest mission, the machine set off into a region of Mars that has never been accessible to humans. The mission, which lasted for more than a year, uncovered some of the most exciting radiation readings that we've seen from Mars. The radiation levels on the planet are much higher than on Earth, but that didn't seem to stop the Curiosity rover from exploring the region. Scientists have long known that the highest levels of radiation on the planet are found around the planet's equator. However, the Curiosity rover has discovered that the radiation levels are higher still within the planet's mid-latitudes. Many scientists think radiation may have played a role in the evolution of life on Earth and in our planet's history. Evidence for this have been found in the rocks of various ages, which have higher levels of radioactive elements, than rocks of the same age found on other planets in the solar system. Today, astronauts on Mars would be exposed to radiation levels much higher than the levels measured on Earth. However, it is not clear whether or not this has had an impact on the survival of life on the Red Planet. Number 6. Mars Lost Lake and River Delta in 1960, a group of scientists noticed that the surface of Mars had a lot of dark areas that looked as though they had been dried up. This discovery, known as the Dark Area on Mars, was later found to be the remnants of a large impact crater that had formed on the Martian surface. This discovery was made by the Mariner 4 mission in 1967. This mission consisted of two spacecraft that were sent to Mars, Mariner 4 and Mariner 5. The red planet Mars had a warm, wet past until about 3.6 billion years ago. A vast lake and river delta covered the planet. The planet lost much of its atmosphere and cooled, leaving a dry, desolate surface. The planet has been cold ever since, and the planet is now covered in iron-rich rust. More recently, it was discovered that the Yezero crater area was once flooded with water and was home to an ancient river delta. A 2021 paper on NASA's Perseverance Mars rover mission revealed more details about Yezero's watery past. Number 7. Regional Dust Storms Regional dust storms play a huge role in drying out Mars, NASA announced in August 2021. Dust storms are a common occurrence on the surface of Mars. They consist of dust particles, mostly carbon and iron, that are carried by strong winds. In the past, Mars has been slowly turning into a desert. The first signs of this process were the formation of dunes, which grew in size and number. In the past, Mars was covered in thick layers of ice. The ice is now gone, the frozen dust has been released, and these dust storms dry out Mars. However, using three spacecraft, scientists discovered one reason that the storm warms up higher altitudes of the cold atmosphere. So with that, our video comes to an end here. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys believe that life once existed on the red planet? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Until then, goodbye.